Welcome to the channel, Vintage Rush here. I'm excited to really do my first ever video. On this channel, I'm gonna be breaking down vintage, whether it's shirts, jerseys, hats, collectibles, anything that's vintage, I'm gonna be going over and really talking about why it's valuable and what makes it so special and unique. And let's go ahead and get into the subject today, which is going to be my number one passion, and that is vintage Marvel Mega Prints. I got one on right here, so let's go ahead and kind of get into what makes them so unique, what makes them so valuable. How rare really are these shirts? Well, let's look at this from a macro perspective. Now, in the early 90s, Marvel and DC, they made millions upon millions of comics because the collector market was super hot. Around that time, I want to say in the late 80s or early 90s, a Superman comic sold for a million dollars. So everyone was buying comics thinking that it was going to be the next big thing now because there are millions of these comics and some of the best artists worked on these in the 90s the 90s comics are not really that rare you can pick them up anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars on certain issues but when you look at these shirts some of them there are less than five of them. i know shirts that there's about two that are known among collectors in existence and like i said the most that I think is even out there might be around 50 and that is a crazy generous number and I'm talking about just for one print. Comic Images is the company that produced these amazing works of art, the Marvel Mega Print. They also produced smaller print sizes and there's a huge collector market for them as well. Now, Marvel Mega Prints, they produced them from 1991 to around 1996. There might be one that was produced in 1997. How do authenticate these shirts? And yes, they do make fake versions of these shirts because they are crazy expensive and highly sold after number one thing i would look for is to see whether the shirt is screen printed or not in the 90s a company called m and r produced these shirts now the machinery was massive and the screens were huge most of this technology has been sold off because it's just ineffective and not efficient so long story short it is really tough to get a all over screen printed shirt done in the usa the second thing I would look for is to make sure the shirt is single stitch on the sleeves and on the bottom of the shirt. This will tell me that it's made in the 90s because everything nowadays is usually made with double stitches on the sleeve and obviously on the bottom of the shirt. The third thing I would look for is the tag. Now, not all shirts have tags, and that doesn't mean that it's an authentic or not. In the 90s, people like to cut their tags off because it was uncomfortable, and that's why you see that shirts nowadays have no tags. Now, the tags that you're looking for is Fruit of the Loom, Anvil, Tennessee River, and then a Marvel tag. There also might be a couple other different tags out there, but those are going to be pretty much your main ones. You're the looking. fourth thing that I would look for is the copyright. Now, these shirts were copyrighted. There should say comic images on them. They should also have a date. Now, there are very few Marvel Mega Prints that actually don't have a copyright, but most of them, almost 99%, do have the copyright on there. So make sure that you look for it. At the end of the day, the best way to make sure you have an authentic Marvel Mega Print is to compare it to another one. Or you can go on Instagram, you can hit up a collector. Typically, that's where we all are at. You can follow me at Vintage Rush. Also, another great account to follow with, that is just like a gallery of images is Marvel Mega Print on IG. So make sure you're following those accounts if you want more information. That's all I got in the tank for today. Make sure that you comment on the video, you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or concerns, you could always hit me up on my social media, which is Instagram. It's at Vintage Rush underscore. Peace.